I said that Le Chatelier's principle allows us to consider a system that is already at equilibrium and predict how it is going to respond or shift when we add a stress. The stress is involving temperature, concentration, or pressure. We can increase or decrease temperature by adding or removing heat to the system. We can increase or decrease any of the reactant or product species concentrations. Or we can increase or decrease pressure. And as always, this only affects systems that involve gases. The very first of the stresses that we are going to concentrate on, no pun intended, uh, is concentration. I'm going to teach you a mnemonic device that we will use for all three stresses. The first half of that mnemonic device is add away. AA. Whatever we add to a system, the system will shift away from. So if we increase a concentration, the concentration of a reactant, the system will shift away from the reactant that we've added. So the system would shift to the product side. The system will always shift to use up the excess. It'd be the same as if you were baking cookies. If you were baking cookies and somebody gave you more ingredients, you would use up those extra ingredients and just make more cookies. So you would use up the reactants to make more products. It's the same idea, except this in this case, it's also it's reversible. If you were given more products, you would use them up to make more reactants. So it's add away. That's the first part of our little trick. The system will always shift away from whatever we add to it. Let's start with the first example. We'll consider a concrete example below. And we'll break down the question piece by piece. Uh, you don't have to do it my way, but um, I found this way to be really effective, and it eliminates a lot of confusion. So let's focus on what we're given. We are adding H2O. Find H2O in the equation above. Circle it. We're adding it. So I'm going to draw an arrow up. We said the trick is add away. So we've added H2O. H2O is on the right. The system will shift away from the H2O, or it'll shift to the left. That means everything on the right is getting used up. The system is shifting away from the products. So the concentration of NO will decrease. The concentration, or not concentration, but the amount of heat will decrease, or heat will get used up. If the reaction is shifting away from H2O, it's shifting to the left. It's shifting toward the products, which means O2 will increase and NH3 will increase. To answer the question, if we add H2O, we found H2O on the right, the system will shift to the left. They're asking about the NH3 concentration. These brackets in this unit refer to concentration. The concentration of NH3, which is on the left side, I've already indicated, would increase because the system is shifting to the left or toward reactants. Okay, let's try one more. Same trick different species. Now we're going to add O2 gas. Circle the O2, arrow up. We've increased, we've added O2. We added that to the system. You know what, I'll give it a separate color. This is what we added. This is our stress in green. It means the system is going to shift to the right. So our stress in green, the system's shift in red. What does that mean? Well, this concentration of NH3 will go down. It's getting used up since we're shifting toward the products. Each of those concentrations and the amount of heat generated will go up. So the system is shifting to the right, add away, and the NO concentration we've indicated would increase. Go ahead and pause it, use the same trick to answer the next two questions, and then we'll, we'll move on to the second part of our mnemonic device. The second part, welcome back 
to this little trick is take toward. Add away, take toward. Whenever we take away from the system or out of the system, the system will shift toward in order to replace. So whatever we take, the system will shift toward. Let's do an example. For the first one, we are removing water. That's our take. So find water. Here's water. We'll do it in green. This is what we are doing. This is the stress. We are taking water. That means the system will shift toward water. Water's on the left. We take water away. The, the system will shift to the left in order to replace what we took. That means CO2 will go up. Heat will go up. Glucose will go down. And O2 will go down. Now, this would only happen. Um, this process, this is actually photosynthesis so this wouldn't happen in nature but it is a it is a reversible process when you involve things like chloroplasts so in this case we've removed water we said water's on the left take toward the system will shift to the left we're being asked what will happen to the concentration that's what the brackets tell us of this big guy glucose our arrow indicates we're shifting away from glucose so the concentration of glucose will decrease. Use the same trick to answer the remaining three questions. Again, remember, it's add away, take toward.